In Zimbabwe, rising prices and a fast depreciating currency have pushed many Zimbabweans to the brink. In addition to that, prolonged water shortages have meant that most residents of Zimbabwe's capital must source their own water. Living conditions continue to worsen. Inflation jumped from 191% in June to 257% in July. Many Zimbabweans fear the country is headed to dark times again when the Southern African nation faced world record inflation of 5 billion percent in 2008. Prosper Chitambara, an economist, says the plight of the ordinary person is such that it is difficult to really survive in this economy where prices are increasing on a daily basis. To prevent a return of such economic disaster, President Emerson Nanangwa's government introduced gold coins as legal tender last month. The country's central bank, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, say that 22 carat coins will help tame runaway inflation and stabilize the nation's currency. The coins are at an average price of just below $2,000 per coin, depending on the international gold price. Many, such as Carlos, get day by day, let alone earn enough to save. According to the National Drought Management Authority, Kenya is facing an unprecedented severe drought due to the cumulative impacts of four consecutive failed rainy seasons. 78 years old Dabi Ibrahim says he has never seen a severe drought like this in all of his life. He says that for the last three years, there has not been a single drop of rain, adding that many houses have been abandoned by owners, leaving behind a few people in the area. The drought has affected livestock, which is the economic lifeline for most residents. Climate shocks have turned upside down the lives of pastoralists. Livestock, one of their key livelihood sectors, has been severely affected. Staple food prices have gone through the roof, while daily wages continue to fall. According to a June report on food security by the National Drought Management Authority, the number of people facing food insecurity in Kenya has increased from the previous 3.5 million to 4.1 million. The Kenyan Red Cross Society and the International Committee of the Red Cross have been distributing relief food and animal feed in four drought-affected counties. Drugs and other emergency health supplies distributed by UNICEF and partners reached up to 150,000 people. Hope Nyongereza, CTV, PM Edition.